Today, I am talking about emergency contraception, commonly known as Plan B. But is there more to emergency contraception than just that? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, and I'm excited to cover this one today. I recently made some TikToks about Plan B, and I got a lot of people asking if I could go into some more detail. So here we are. Today I'm covering six facts about emergency contraception, so that by the time you're done watching this, you'll know exactly what might be the right choice for you if you have a slip up on having sex. Point number one, is all Plan B the same? No, not at all. So. Emergency contraception is what you use when you've had unprotected sex or you've used your birth control incorrectly. We commonly refer to that as Plan B, but Plan B is only one type of emergency contraception. So there's two different kinds of morning after pills. The first one is Plan B, and that's a levonorgestrel pill. It's either one pill that you take once or two separate pills, and you can just take them at the exact same time. It is also known by other generic names such as the after pill or my choice. There's like a hundred different kinds, I feel. The other type of morning after pill is called Ella or Ulipristal acetate. And this is a prescription only version of a plan B. So those are the two types of pills that you can take for plan B. And I'm saying quotes because now you know that plan B is just one actual type, but you'll often hear people refer to all types of emergency contraception or morning after pills as plan B, but now you know better. There's actually a third type of medication that you can take as a plan B or emergency contraception, and that's called the Yutzvi method, which is a combination of birth control pills that you might have that you can then take to mimic plan B or Ella. Now, the thing is that there's a lot more side effects with this type of method because you have the estrogen in it as a, in addition to the progesterone at higher doses. So you can actually throw them up, which doesn't really work that well, which is why we try not to use that as much as we can. And it's not just a take three pills and that counts. There's actual published evidence of like what the protocol should be. So if you think that that's the method that you might need to use, let us know, we can help walk you through that. The fourth type of emergency contraception or morning after pill isn't a pill at all. It's the copper IUD or the Paragard IUD. It's the only IUD that is currently approved as emergency contraception. And you might be thinking, this is really strange. Why would an IUD work? It actually is one of the most effective methods and we'll get into that. And the nice thing about it is that you've got it for your plan B or your, or your slip up, but also as an ongoing form of a plan A or ongoing contraception for up to 12 years, which is awesome. Okay, question two that I wanted to address, which form of emergency contraception is the best? And it might not be the one that you think. So it's actually the copper IUD, 99.5% effective up to five days after your, the time that you had sex. That's awesome. And if you really wanna be sure that you're not pregnant, this is a great choice for you. Now the logistics of getting it might be difficult because with all of these methods, the sooner that you use them or have them inserted, the higher the chances that they'll work for you. And as you can imagine, it might be hard if you have sex on a Saturday night to get in on a Sunday morning to get a copper IUD inserted, I hear you. But if it is a possibility, if you are able to get in, this is a really great option. The second most effective form of the morning after pill is Ella or Ulipristal acetate. It's about 85 to 98% effective, and it's good for up to five days after you've had unprotected sex. Again, the sooner you use it, the higher the efficacy rate is. Plan B, the, the real plan B, is about 88 to 95% effective, but only up to three days after you've had sex. So you need to take it sooner than with the other two methods that I already mentioned. And the last method, that used to be method that I mentioned, that's about 75% effectiveness. So still better than nothing, but not the best method that we have available. Okay, topic three that I wanted to address. What about weight? I got lots of questions about this on TikTok and I think it's an important one that we address. So it is true that if you weigh more than 155 pounds, plan B, it says on the box, it may not work as well. That does not mean that you should not take anything because it's, it's not like an on off switch that once you hit 156 pounds, plan B just doesn't work. It just means that it could be less effective, but it's still more effective than doing nothing. So if you're more than 155 pounds, if you are able to get your hands on Ella, that would be a better choice than plan B. But if all you can get is plan B, that's okay. It's better than nothing. And if you're over 195 pounds, the copper IUD might be the best method for you because Ella may be less effective over 195 pounds. And the same caveat exists. If a doctor refuses to write you a prescription for one of these medications, or worse yet, a pharmacist tells you that it won't work, that's not true. It's, it's, it's sort of a you know risk benefit. We know that it may not work as well, but doing nothing is certainly the most risky thing that you can do for getting pregnant. 
Question four, how many times is too many times to take the morning after pill? Truly, there's no limit. While these methods work really well, and I'm talking about the pills, not the IUD, these pills do work pretty well. They are still not as good as regular birth control that you take in a preventive way, whether it's the pill, patch, ring, depot, IUD, whatever. But if you find yourself using it frequently, it'd be a great time to chat with us and we can help you find what I like to refer to as a plan A. But no, there's no random limit. I've seen people on TikTok who've said, well, my health teacher said I can only take it three times a year. The pharmacist told me it doesn't work after six times. Like there's no on off switch people. It's not ideal, but yes, you can use it even once a month if you had to, even more than once a cycle. Not super ideal, but there's no real limit. Fifth point, and I think it's really important to highlight this one. Does plan B cause an abortion or do any of these methods cause an abortion? And the answer is no, they will only work if you are not yet pregnant. The way that these methods work is by delaying ovulation or by making the sperm not able to fertilize the egg. If your egg is already fertilized, this is my picture of a fertilized egg, <laughs> and has implanted into the wall of the uterus, none of these methods will work at all. They cannot cause an abortion. There's a lot of misinformation about what these medications are and what they're not. And I can tell you none of these cause an abortion. Okay, final point. Do you need a prescription for these medications? The nice thing about Plan B and all the generic forms of Plan B is that they are over the counter. You do not need a prescription. There is no age requirement. It, you can even be a guy and you can be buying it for your partner. You can absolutely get this medication at any drugstore. And in theory, it should be right at the shelf. You should be able to just pick it off the shelf. Usually they put it near the condoms and the pads and the feminine hygiene stuff. I don't know why, but they do. Sometimes though, it is behind the counter and you have to ask the pharmacist for it. I don't like that because I think that puts another barrier there. And again, even though you don't need a prescription, just having it behind the counter, I feel like just makes it a little difficult. So ideally what you could do is you could buy it ahead of time so that you have it because I have heard some stories of people telling me that the pharmacist refused to give it to them and that's not okay. Remember, elevate that to the manager, but I know that you might feel like you don't want to talk about it and you're already in this scary situation. So ideally you buy it ahead of time, deal with it when you're not, you know, really worried about being pregnant or you can buy it online. So at afterpill.com, you can get it for about $25 and you can get it from that website or through them through Amazon. I think that buying it from Amazon from from just other distributors, it feels a little sketchy to me. There have been reports of boxes being opened and being expired. Sometimes if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. But going through afterpill.com feels a little better to me. Ella, unfortunately, is prescription only. The good news is, is that you can go onto this website here and you can get a prescription and you can get it shipped to you for free overnight. Because remember, time is of the essence here. This will cost you about $90, so it's a bit expensive. Cheaper than a pregnancy, but you know, yeah, I get it, it's expensive. Um, so one thing that you could do is you could get it, get a prescription from your healthcare provider, fill it through your insurance, many insurances cover it, and then it would be cheaper that way. The third thing that you can do to get this and not have to pay as much is you can go through this website and then take the claim and you can submit it to your insurance for reimbursement afterwards. So what I think is really great if you're having sex, ask your healthcare provider for an Ella prescription ahead of time, maybe at your annual visit or just shoot them a quick message right now after you watch this YouTube and have it filled and have it in your medicine cabinet. So if there's an accident, you don't have to stress out about trying to get this prescription to you online or very quickly and you've got it there and you know you're covered. When it comes to plan B and all the other forms of emergency contraception, there's a lot of myths out there. In my show notes, I have a ton of references and resources and I think they're really good. So if you wanna learn more, please go there. And if you have other questions about these forms of morning after pill or emergency contraception and I haven't addressed it, let me know. I can always make a part two. I love having you all here. I love seeing what information I can give you that's helpful. So just drop them in the comments, like, follow, subscribe. Come on and hang out over on TikTok and Instagram at Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, where we discuss even more of this kind of stuff. So stay safe, happy contracepting, and go get yourself a plan B or an Ella prescription now so that you're ready to go. Bye-bye.